my name is Coral and I wanted to do a book review. I got this book, Guided Tarot for Seamless Readings by Stephanie Capone. And I actually found it at Five Below and it looks like this. And if you don't have a Five Below, they also have it on Amazon and I will have a link for it down below. Anyway, so this book I got because I wanted to learn tarot cards. I've enjoyed tarot cards for a while, but I was never really confident in my reading ability. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, here is the cover. And then we can open her up to this beautiful image of the Fool and a beginning section about understanding tarot. There is also a section here about different tarot spreads you can try. And there are questions and kind of daily practices in case you guys are interested in that. It's really good to help you practice and get better at reading the card. And then the book jumps into the Major Arcana. One thing I really enjoy about this book is each gets a full two-page spread. And over here you can see a, a small guide that sort of will tell you just the the upright key mean, the reverse key mean, the numerology, and the astrology, which is super helpful. And it will also give you a layout of the card as well as this beautiful image and a description for career, general, personal, reversed, and love and romance, as well as just this wonderful full page description. And it does, and the book does this for every card and you can learn so much from these and i've actually used this to make my own kind of flash cards that are a little bit easier to use the book also contains a wonderful guide at the end which has access to each card of each suit and you can quickly see what page it is on as well as the upright and reverse meetings to help you with your readings okay so one other thing i really enjoy about this book is the color coding on the pages. Mine is a little old and dingy as you can see, but um, they are different colors and each color is a different suit. So here is the Major Arcana. This yellow here, Major Arcana. And then if you close it, you see blue, which is the cups. And after blue, we have another yellow for pentacles. Slow growth, you guys. Let's do it. And after that, we have... Uh, there's a green, and it's a little hard to see, but it is wands. Oh, and I'm sorry, the swords are actually before that in purple. Swords. Then wands in green. And like I said, afterwards, they do have a quick guide with every single card, which is pretty helpful. I also appreciate that the images are sort of the traditional tarot images that a lot of people have. Personally, I use this deck and I find that having them correspond help me learn the meanings a lot better. So I'll have a link for that below as well but i'm going to be doing a manifestation reading on the knight of pentacles so if you guys are interested in that come check it out so overall you guys i would say this book is great for beginners if you're not a beginner maybe try to get one a little more in depth i have read some other books that i feel give me a little bit nicer meanings or a little bit more profound but this is a great place to start because it just makes it less confusing. And of course, I really enjoy all of the cute little features that it includes. So if you guys are interested, again, I have that link below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. And last but not least, if you guys are interested in some cute astrology paper or just witchy paper in general, I do have these over on my Etsy. So thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this book. Tell me what you think and like, what's your favorite tarot book? I'm gonna do another review soon once I finish the next one I read. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, the author, is, she seems cute. Like, wholesome. Okay, bye.